Hey everybody, this is John Stoffer, and I'm here to bring you a tech tip from StreamingTeacher.com. Today I want to talk about licensing a little bit. If you're running on a network license type, then you likely have multiple licenses for your shop. If everybody is using the same product, then this is no big deal. However, if you have a mixture of different Mastercam products, such as Mill, Mill3D, and Lathe, this could cause some issues with how licenses are used by default. Here's an example. Let's say your company owns one seat of Lathe, one seat of Mill, and one seat of Mill3D. First thing in the morning, you open up Mastercam and pull in your Lathe definition. This Lathe has live tooling, so it can also pull milling operations with this machine definition. By default, when you load this machine definition, your workstation is pulling the single seat of Lathe as well as the seat of Mill3D. This means your coworkers could only open one more session of Mastercam and they would be limited to mill only. Here's another example. With the same licenses as mentioned before, you open a mill definition. Because you are the first one to pull a license from the server, your workstation will pull the mill 3D license by default, regardless of whether you would actually need to access the full working version of 3D toolpaths. Again, this means that your coworkers are limited. While you could now open two more instances of Mastercam at different workstations, neither one of them could open the seat of Mill 3D because you are using it. So if you only need to pull the seat of Mill, or maybe just Lathe, or Lathe in combination with Mill and leaving the seat of 3D free for someone else to use, how do you do that? This is where the Mastercam launcher comes into play. Let's open it up and take a look. You can find the Mastercam launcher in the start menu under the Mastercam folder for the version you are using. Here's what that looks like in Windows 10. And here's what that looks like in Windows 11. I'll be using 2023 for this example. Now we have the Mastercam launcher open. This might look slightly different in your version because I'm using a reseller license, but for the most part, this should be pretty much the same thing. In this box at the top, we can choose what licensing we want to pull. So we might only want to pull Mill, for instance. In that case, we want to make sure that Lathe is inactive as is um, any router, wire, and mill turn. We can also change what type of mill we want. You can change between 3D, mill, and entry if that's available for you. I only have this license because I am on a single seat, but if you're running a network license, you should see more available here. Select on the thing that you want, make sure that that's set to active, and make sure everything that you don't need is set to inactive. You can also check out your add-on products down here to make sure you're not pulling anything from your add-ons that another system might need. So now with this built, you'll want to create a shortcut. There's a button right here called Create Shortcut. When you click it, you can set this to your desktop and give this a name. In this case, because this is mill only, I might call this mill only. Once you've given it a name, go ahead and click save. Now you'll have a new icon on your desktop that says mill only with a Mastercam logo. When you double click on that icon, it will open Mastercam with the mill seat only pulled and it won't pull any other licensing. At this point, you may also want to go back and create more shortcuts for different combinations of licenses. You will also have to do this on any other system that's pulling from the same network license. If you need more assistance with this, make sure to reach out to your local Mastercam reseller. I hope that was helpful for you. If you like this tech tip, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. But more importantly, if you're looking for high quality Mastercam training content, head on over to streamingteacher.com.